Hello. So, I know this is horrible lighting and kind of random, but I um, just wanted to record this in one shot so I could just, you know, post it without the lack of motivation to edit and everything. So, you know, my name is Jess. This is my channel. I'm a non-binary teenager uh, who's kind of been medically transitioning for a few years now. And recently, amazing big news, I got top surgery. So yeah, I think I briefly mentioned it in maybe one of my testosterone updates, but I filmed literally a whole like top surgery vlog, but I've never like had the motivation to put it together. So for now, this is just a update. So anyway, to the details, I am seven weeks post-op with Dr. Scott Mosser in San Francisco. I'm 16 right now, so I've been trying to get the surgery for like a long time, and I've I had my consultation in November, back when I was 15, and at that point my parents weren't completely ready to let me actually get top surgery, but you know, since it's been like a couple of years of just talking about it, eventually they've come to terms with it, so that's good, and yeah, so I had it on July 11th, um, early in the morning. The experience was amazing. Dr. Monster was amazing. Uh, it was just like everything I could have asked for and more. And yeah, basically recovery went well. Had a hematoma. And had to get a second surgery, but you know, maybe I'll, <laughs> when I actually post my top surgery vlog, you'll get more information on that, but it was all fine in the end. Um, and yeah. I am able to work out again. I just started that yesterday. I can go swimming. Got to do that a lot. I'll actually uh, put some pictures in here. I think I can do that. And now I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. I had keyhole. I had keyhole with Dr. Monster. Here's it with my... Sorry, this lighting is literally so bad. Here, let me do it this way. My chest in a flannel, flat. I mean, I have some muscle because I work out a lot, but yeah. And then, ooh, grand reveal time. Wah, wah. So since I had keyhole, you can expect a little bit of swelling. Um, I got lucky, no extra skin really. Um, only extra swelling is like right here next to this nipple. No, but uh, yeah, so here's my chest right now. The sun, oh my god, can I adjust this? Not really, okay. But yeah, this is my chest at seven weeks post-op. Keyhole top surgery. On the side, nice and um flat, you know, as things should be. In this little angle, flex my pecs a little bit. See some muscle. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me get a little bit close up as I explain things. So, keyhole, I don't know, maybe you know, but maybe you don't, uh, is an incision that goes halfway around the areola to remove all the tissue and stuff, leaves minimal star scarring, like, as few, as little as possible. I have some, like, adhesive stuff, kind of, or not adhesive, but I was using silicone scar gel, and my shirt, like, fuzz stuck to my chest, so that's why it looks like this. In reality, the scars aren't actually that dark. Um, here's the side that had the hematoma. So this had a little bit more complications, like, and it was a little inverted. <laughs> Not sure why exactly, if it goes away, great. If it doesn't, I don't really care. doesn't bother me too much. Uh, a little bit of swelling right here, just next to it. Like, I can poke it, it feels kind of weird. But it, it's been getting a little bit better since the surgery <laughs> or something. Um... You can kind of see the incision a little better here. Like, it's more of a divot right now, since it's kind of just fresh scar. Um, more sticky shirt stuff. And, yeah, if I hunch over like this, the swelling becomes a little bit more apparent. But, overall, it's, like, so little, especially for having keyhole. So I'm very happy about that. I also have a little bit of swelling, like, right here and here and, like, I, I don't know, I guess I can't really see it when I raise my arms. You can just see a little bit right here. And I really need to put on a little bit more, like, chest muscle. I mean, I worked out a lot before, um, <laughs> and I thought I would have had a little bit more pec going on, but 
I guess not. <laughs> so I'll get that soon, you know, once I can start working out the chest again. <laughs> anyway, my muscles, I've lost a little bit of muscle mass during recovery because I obviously can't work out and probably wasn't eating as much as I should, but um, it's fine. That comes back quickly because of muscle memory. And yeah, I'm just like, all right, that's a, yeah, that's the description of all the physical aspects. So I guess I'll just like touch on the emotional feelings, like to be able to get the surgery at like 16, at the point in my life where I am, like has literally just, my whole life just feels completely different. Like every day, you know, I'd wake up and like almost every single thought like, of every second would be, like, oh my god, chest, like, how it feels with a shirt on, like, how it looks. Every time I pass a reflective surface, of course, I gotta do that, like, check to make sure my chest looks flat, but it, like, never was, obviously. And it just, everything just feels easy now, because I can just completely exist without dysphoria, which, you know, it's hard for some people to understand what dysphoria is actually like. It's not just insecurity, it's not just, like, not liking what you look like, but it's that, like, con constant mental disconnect of like what your body is looking like and you know so that's just stressful every day all day and I don't have to bind which also is stressful so I just now I am like I have more energy I'm a lot happier it's like my anxiety is like way down my confidence is way up I've been talking to like people who I'm like usually scared to talk to and yeah I don't know like I've been able to go swimming with my friends and only a couple weeks ago I went swimming in this natural place nearby and I took off my shirt for the first time like swimming and there was like random like 12 year olds there and they were just like you know talking to me and treating me like a regular person and like just to exist like that and not be you know not worry about what I am you know so top surgery is a life changing, life-saving procedure. Please, random transphobes, <laughs> like, why do you even care so much? You're not saving the children, like, the children get saved by stuff like this, so. Yep, that's the ramble. <sighs> anyway, I don't really know what else to talk about, so if you got questions, please comment them. I like talking about it, so, you know, I went on quite the search of the internet to find keyhole results and results from Dr. Monster. So hopefully this just adds one out there for anyone else like me who's, you know, looking, looking for it. So, thanks. Maybe subscribe if you want to see that top surgery vlog whenever that comes out. Okay. <laughs> Bye, folks. <laughs>